Hi. <clears throat> so now in this case here, if you need to project those holes onto a different plate or onto a different sketch, what I recommend is once you create your rectangle, which looks like you already have, actually wait for this machine to finish cooking one day. Now I'll just create a two-point center rectangle from the middle going out. Finish sketch, E for extrude. Wow, this is slow. Set that to 10. Okay. Now, in this case, let's create these holes. Now, what I'll do here is I'm going to say, start 3D sketch. I'm going to throw in a rectangle, like so. I'm going to throw one point in the corner. Finish sketch. I'll say extrude. Actually, not even extrude. I'll say hole. And the hole's automatically been placed in the corner there. I'll set its size to 100. I'll say OK. I'll turn the visibility of the sketch back on. And hopefully I can just pick that straight line edge there. So I'm going to say rectangular pattern. This hole here must move along the direction of the sketch. And it looks like it's actually pulling through that entire sketch there, which I'm not too happy about. But it's fine. I'm just going to continue creating my pattern nonetheless. Rectangular pattern. This hole must move in this direction here, flip it to the other side so it goes to the right, and then the distance, it must move to the right. So instead of spacing distance, it must be measure this edge here. And I want to have 12, 14 of them, for instance. Direction two must be this edge going down. This is also set to distance, measure, that small edge there, and I want maybe, looks like 14, half of that, seven. Yeah, maybe seven of them. And in this case, it's gonna take that whole pattern to the right, 14 of them over the said distance, and then seven is gonna go down. <clears throat> well, it's gonna create the second direction there, is gonna go straight down. There's seven of them going over that direction or that distance there, I'll say OK. It cooks up the hole. I'll turn off the sketch visibility. And I have this. Then the next thing I can do here is I can say plane, create an offset plane going up, let's say 200, enter. Now I want these holes here onto that sketch plane there. I can say start 2D sketch, I can pick the edge. I can say project geometry. And instead of clicking each one of those holes, I can just click the outside area here with one single click, finish sketch, and then in this case here, I would have projected them all to the very top. Then in regards to your cylinder that you seem to be working on, that little, um, what's that thing called? Well, oh, the end of that pipe, can't remember. It's gonna say new. Standard IPT. Pick that sketch circle on the inside going out. Finish sketch. Extrude. OK. Start 2D sketch over here. I'm just going to create a single point. I could have constrained it, dimensioned it, then H for hole. And the size of this hole here maybe is 2. Then I'm just going to say rectangular pattern, this hole direction is going to be the direction of the x-axis. And I want to have five of them with the spacing of maybe three in between each. And then once I have that, I can then just say circular pattern, the hole and the pattern around rotation axis, this cylinder here. 
12 of them. Okay. Then we'll quickly go through and we'll create those 12 holes on the shape here. And it looks like you also had some offsets there. Don't know what those distances were. But if I said start 2D sketch on this plane over here, I said project geometry, all of those. I'd like to move this. I could actually select the plane, right click, redefine. Why can't I see redefine in my menu here? That's not very nice. Let me see if I can't right click from this window here. Oh, there, redefine feature. I don't know why I couldn't see it in the other one. If I pick the bottom of this, it then just moves that information there, right click OK. And then I just have to double click on this plane. Oh, it looks like it's still picking from the top surface. I wonder why that is. So right click redefine feature, menu features here at the bottom, click and drag for my offset of 12. There we go. Just looks like since it was an offset, I had to click and drag and not just do a single click. And then let's move them to this side here. Or if I want to pull that sketch information down onto that plane, I can select my sketch from the browser, right click. I can say redefine. I can pick this surface over here and we'll see that that sketch information has moved down. If I want the sketch information on the other side, right click, redefine. I can pick this space over here and that sketch information has been moved. Right click, redefine. I can pick this plane here. And again, sketch information has been moved. But yeah, very nice, very cool.